you hear about these big lawsuits that are coming up and the attorneys are all like, oh my gosh, these catastrophic suits and ever, this all has to end. It's ruining the industry. Well, you know what? Some companies deserve to pay. Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. I'm Mark, your settlement host. And today let's talk about even better logistics. And this case, one of their trucks was on an unapproved route, an oversized load and hit a bridge. What a surprise. All right, and they're out of Texas, by the way. So this sent debris and stuff flying all over the place. And some of it went through the windshield of a car and injured a person. They have lifetime medical injuries because of all the junk that went through the windshield and nearly killed them. So the company was ordered to pay $7.4 million for that. All these trial lawyers are like, well, that's terrible. Companies are it's going to cause our insurance and everything to go up. All these companies. Here's the thing. In 2018, then they refused an audit by the FMCSA, which you can't do. And their operating authority was revoked. Then in December of 2019, one of their trucks was pulled over by the Texas uh, police and the registration on the truck had expired in November, uh, you know, the month before. So expired registration and they're still out hauling freight. Why? Why should a company like that not have to pay? And really, the people running the company should have some kind of a criminal charge at this point for that, for just ignoring uh, regulations and when they're told to shut down. By the way, how do you get freight if your authority has been revoked? I guess there's probably places to do it. Owner operators can maybe tell me that. Don't you have to prove your authority before you pick freight up? Not sure how that works. Either way, their authority had been revoked for quite some time, still out hauling freight. The decisions like this that come down, absolutely uh, the place should pay for that kind of thing. And the people that run it should be should be brought to justice, as they say. So some companies should pay and they deserve to pay for them just flaunting the rules. And that makes all the rest of the trunk companies look bad. It isn't right for the rest of us. All right. Thanks for watching and we'll be back soon with more Trucking Answers.